Happy Tuesday evening, July 6, 2021. To God be the glory for the closing of another day. Did you have a wonderful one? What were your highlights? Um, uh, going on a walk. Mm, a nature walk? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you notice anything spectacular? Everything is spectacular. Everything is spectacular. Yeah, because you're in the natural creation. God made everything perfect. The trees, the fields. Yeah. Highlight of my day is the first session of the theater drama class for uh, first through fourth graders. And they're just so talented and just being able to. And I told them, look, this is a place where you can act up and you won't get in trouble. So let's really put our drama faces and our hearts and have a great time make believing. All right, well, in Ezra 6, it's funny, we're in Proverbs 6 and Ezra 6. And starting with that chapter, Ezra 6, it was a time of celebration because the king's King Darius had to verify that King Cyrus le legitimately gave the green light on the project of rebuilding the temple. So they went back in the records and it showed that, yes, indeed, Cyrus gave instruction, you know, as far as having the budget be this and to take it from this source and he gave specific instructions. It says, and there was found in the palace that is in the province of Medes, a roll, right? A record. So you could think about like uh, maybe a spreadsheet, a database. And therein was a record thus written in the first year of Cyrus. And he said, let the house be built, the places where they offer sacrifices and have a strong foundation and that made me think about what are we giving as a strong foundation. I believe that with this violence, I said, I wonder could we do this? Could there be, not like a national day, but could it be, and of course it can't be mandated, but to have every young person, you know, whether it's your grandchild, your neighbor, and put an incentive for them to go into the house of worship right for a month maybe in july to have you know the old-fashioned tent meetings or um revivals or just to go to church because i believe it is a spiritual issue and not so much uh, the mental and emotional and definitely not the physical that's just an outgrowth of what's going on but i believe it's because there's a lack of a foundation what do you think about that as far as <laughs> giving an incentive for young people to go back to church he said it wouldn't work yeah. <laughs> unless you know look, they pay them to get good grades i don't know if you could pay i don't know but that, that's that's an idea because i believe it's it's a um, uh, a void as far as values well it says in verse 14 the elders of the Jews built the temple and they prospered and they built it and finished it the Lord wants us to finish our projects and it says in verse 16 that they dedicated the house of God with joy yes yeah, something about going into the house of the Lord into the temple and celebrating with joy because it's a, a good place. And it says that they had seven days with joy. The Lord had made them joyful in verse 22. And the Lord strengthened their hands in the work of the house of the Lord. It's something about finishing a project. And I, I just believe that if we can point to young people the sacrifices and how in history that we built so many of the structures physically, but like I said, morally, our ancestry, if they can see the thread and how it's connected to them, our black history, our spiritual history, who they are, their great grandparents, when, when we came to this country, yeah, then they will see the whole picture. What, did you get anything out of Ezra 6 or Proverbs 6? Um, Proverbs 6. 
Proverbs six. Yep. Six. Go to that. That was you sluggard. Yeah. Consider his ways and be wise. Yeah. Like that because it is a reminder to be a hard worker. Be a hard worker. The Lord will strengthen our hands and give us joy when we are in the beginning of a project, when we're in the middle and we want to give up. And especially at the end, there's nothing like the satisfaction of looking back and said, I did this. It's something about washing the dishes and seeing a clean kitchen. It's something about finishing and then having that satisfaction. I think a lot of times we, we, we let them miss out or they miss out in, in that type of, of satisfaction. And we don't have to tie it with money and bribing and blackmailing. No, just the satisfaction of doing a good job. Yeah, that's joy. So, yeah, thank you, Timotheus. I'm just thinking of some ideas. And um, the Lord will lead us to other solutions as far as stemming the violence and all the ills out here. Okay, have a good evening with joy, knowing that the Lord wants to strengthen our hands to do greater works. Good night.